Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are making a Dutch apple pie. I realized I've never made one of these for you guys before, so I'm going to show you how to do it today. It's pretty simple to do. It has a nice streusel topping instead of like a lattice um, pie crust topping. So um, let's get started. Okay, so this recipe calls for four Granny Smith apples. I'm going to get these washed up real quick, and then I'm going to get these peeled and sliced up. You want to make sure you're using a nice tart apple like one of these Granny Smith apples because these um, do really well um, in a pie and they kind of um, hold their shape and they have a nice um, kind of tart flavor. So I'll get these washed and sliced real quick. All right, so we got all of our apples um, peeled and sliced up here. I cut. Pie, so now we can go ahead and add um, our other um, ingredients here. So my recipe card here says we're going to do a half cup of um, granulated sugar. We'll do a half cup of brown sugar. And I like the pack brown sugar. I like that. We'll do that. A quarter cup of flour. Spread that all around. We'll do a teaspoon of cinnamon. Like that. And then we're doing a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And this is kind of like the secret ingredient for this recipe here. Um, a lot of times apple pies will call for lemon juice, but we're going to use cider vinegar instead. So. And then just a pinch of salt, just a little bit there. So I'm going to give this a real quick mix and let this macerate for about 10 minutes just to let um, all of the juices kind of work together. And then we'll go ahead and fill up our pie shell. Okay, so our apples and sugar and cinnamon and everything have been sitting for about 10 minutes and they look really good. So nice and kind of juicy. This will make a really great pie filling. So now we're ready to go ahead and fill our pie shell. I'm using a store-bought um, pie shell. It's this one right here. I'll link this down in the description. This is the Holy Wholesome brand. This is all organic. And in the world of store-bought pie shells, um, they've really come a long ways in recent years. So I don't really like making homemade pie crust, so I just buy them. So these came in a two-pack. They're about 10 bucks, um, but I think it's worth it, so I don't have to. Um, have the hassle of making my own pie crust. So I'm going to set this on a cookie sheet just so we don't have any um, spillage or anything in the oven. So we'll go ahead and load up our pie shell here. And I have my oven set to 425. And this is going to go in the oven for about 20 minutes. And then we'll take it out and we'll add our streusel topping. And then we'll bake it for a little bit longer. So just kind of get your apples arranged here how you want. I think that looks pretty good there. Just like that. Okay, so this, this will go in the oven for 20 minutes, and we'll see you guys in a few. All right, so while our pie is in the oven, we can go ahead and make our streusel topping. And I'm going to use my food processor to make this. I think it's a lot easier than using like a pastry cutter or using your hands to get all of the um, butter incorporated into your um, streusel topping. So I like using this just because it cuts down on a lot of time and it kind of saves your hands a little bit too. So um, we'll load this up. We'll do a half cup of granulated sugar, another half cup of brown sugar, And we'll pack that. Okay, then we need half cup of flour. I 
And then I'm gonna get my thing here. Then we're gonna use three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon. So we'll do a half teaspoon and then a quarter teaspoon. And then a pinch of salt. Then we're going to add half a cup of cold butter. You want to make sure your butter is nice and cold. And I just cut it into little cubes like this. So we'll get this added in here. And I'm just going to pulse this until I get the consistency of like a wet sand. Um, and then we'll go ahead and add some oats to this. All right, so here is our strizzle topping. This looks good. This is kind of the consistency, kind of crumbly look that you're going for. So now we're going to add um, a quarter cup of oats to this. I'm using these old fashioned oats. I like using these instead of quick oats um, because they look a little bit better. So they have more of like the oat, like what you think of when you think of oatmeal. So um, I just prefer the consistency. So I have a quarter cup in my bowl here and we'll just dump this out. And I'll mix this up and we still have about 10 minutes left on um, our pie that's in the oven. So I'm going to store this in the fridge to keep our butter nice and cold until our pie is done. So we'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Okay, so our pie is out of the oven. I've lowered the oven temperature to 375. So that's what we're going to bake um, this at with our shrizzle topping on it. So now we can just kind of go ahead and add that on top here and if you need to use your hands to kind of smooth this out you can and i like to press it down a little bit so everything kind of sticks that looks good like that all right so this is going to go back in the oven like i said at 375 for about 30 minutes Okay, guys, here it is just out of the oven, nice and bubbly hot. You definitely want to um, let this cool down completely before you cut into it. Otherwise, all of your pie filling will just run right out. So that's probably the hardest part is waiting until this cools down before you um, sample it. So um, this looks good. It smells great. And um, this will be a great nice little fall pie to have. I'll put the recipe that I use down in the description if you guys want to check it out. Um, otherwise, I hope you guys try this out and like it, and we'll see you next time.